All right, we'll uh, get started with the opening statement with uh, Coach Eves. Well, first of all, um, just a thought about Colorado College. They just finished six games in nine days. And uh, the one thing that I know our, our fellows will say about them is uh, <laughs> their heart and soul. They put it out there. And uh, you know, one team wins, one team loses. But when you leave everything on the ice, you can walk out of the rink with their heads up. And I sure hope they do that because they played a lot of great hockey here in a short amount of time. So congratulations to them. And for us, we get to play another weekend. And uh, it didn't look like that beginning of the season and it's a, it's a great thing for these young men because uh, they played uh, for each other and have uh, learned some lessons the hard way. There was a lot of silver linings that, that happened early in the season. They used them to their advantage and stayed together through that tough times and it served us well and we are where we are today because of those lessons that we learned. I'll take questions. Yep. Start with the uh, student athletes. Uh, Tyler, you had a uh breakaway at the end of the second period that uh, turned around went the other way and uh, CC scored. Uh, what were you thinking after that uh, period at the end of the period and uh, the entire mission? I mean, we just we just came together and regrouped. I mean, it was a, an unfortunate sequence of events for us, um, but you know, we just we just came together. You know, everyone had everyone take a deep breath, calm down, and, and just go back to our game. Andy, Ryan, what have the last twelve weeks been like? You guys have been going every weekend, three game, three games here, uh, three games and three nights here. What, what fueled this this resurgence? Um, I mean, it's been it's been busy, it's been challenging, but it's been a lot of fun. And I think uh, when you start winning, it's it's contagious uh, in the locker room, and it's a lot of fun to be around each other and at the rink. So I think that's that's kind of been the uh, the basis for us these past few weeks is just you know keep winning, keep going, keep rolling like our slogan. Coach, how does it uh, feel winning the final final five in the current? Uh, Format of the WCHA. Well, it's very special the fact that this is the last time that this trophy will be played for in this format with these teams. So um, it's very special. I think we'll, we'll honor that. It'll be something that we'll put on our mantle back at uh, Wisco and, and we'll hold in high esteem. John, you guys lose to Penn State a couple weeks ago and you kind of realized that winning this tournament might be your only way to the tournament. Can you kind of talk about the lows of that loss compared to the highs of winning tonight? No, uh, I mean, uh, losing to Penn State, I mean, it was their final game of the season. They, uh, they really came a long way from the start. and uh, we, we didn't play terrible in that game. We, we had a lot of chances. They just didn't put them away. And uh, it was a tough, tough loss. Uh, it dropped us a lot in the pair-wise. But, I mean, coming into this weekend, we kind of thought that maybe one or two games we'd get in. And uh, a couple things happened during this weekend, and we had to win this tournament. And uh, I think everyone on our team took that and saw it as a challenge, and uh, we really came together and, and got the job done. And it, Mike, could you speak to the symbolic nature of the fact that a guy who wasn't with you for the first 10 games plays well enough to be the tournament MVP here? Well, I think that was part of our um, struggles during the season, uh, not having Nick, uh, losing Zangs, uh, Derek was hurt, uh, the coach. There was a lot of things going on at that time, and, Getting Nick back and healthy Zangs and, and, and Derek playing well and things started to come together, but they they did so because I think we were very cognizant of what we were going through. And there were some there were some tough choices to be made when we were going through those tough times. Every time we came to the rink, every time we lost the game, and we weren't playing terrible, we just couldn't put the puck in the net. And and, and, and part of that was our goal scorers were out, but. It was about making choices every day. We got we got a choice. We can put our head down in the sand, or we can we can come back and go to work and try to make this thing better. For John, Ryan, you guys only had one loss after that Penn State game. The one loss we know is at Penn State Club State, and not, you could probably point a whole lot different to that, you know, unfamiliar rank, things like that. But for you two as seniors, I mean, coming out of that Penn State game, is it just about playing for a party the rest of the way? Or? I mean, that wasn't the only thing that you were playing for, obviously, but you must have felt like, you know, it's your last year you want to um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, any any senior wants to go out on the right note, but I think it's more than just you know playing for that. It's that group of guys we have in there. You know, there's a lot of a lot of character in there, and we want to play for them as well as the staff. I mean, they stuck stuck with us throughout that tough time, and you know, they could have easily gone the other way.